Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new, my name is Sel. Today's video is kitchen organization. I'm going to clean and organize the areas of our kitchen that I have not really touched or organized before. It's not the messiest space so it didn't really bother me and I didn't feel that super need to organize them ASAP but I thought I could do a better job than how it looks like now. So I'll be cleaning and organizing this space today. I'll also be sharing a few recipes with you guys so stay tuned for that. This video is another part of my home organization series for this year of 2023. If you haven't seen the rest of the series, I will link my playlist in the description box below so you can check it out and watch it after this one. Let's do this friends! I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie like always, I like to start with a clean slate so I'm going to take everything out so that I can wipe down all of the shelf because it's been a while since I did this so this is much needed. And I start in the middle part and then we'll move from the middle to the left and then I'll do the coffee section last. And then after that we'll move on to the bottom side of this kitchen cabinets. And then I'm going to use Mrs. Myers in the St. Honey Suckle to clean her. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite multi-purpose cleaner. I can hide what this is. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes, and you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. If you are new here to my channel, hello and welcome. I am so happy you're here. My name is Sel. I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one sweet boy. If you like and enjoy home organization videos like this as well as cleaning motivation and seasonal home decorating, I upload this kind of contents every Friday so be sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for hanging out with me again and tuning in to this video.
Kinda simple, kinda wasteful about things. And you're kinda simple, but like a pistol. If I I really like this cap holder organizer that I got from Walmart. I think they have this at Amazon as well. I will try to link whatever I can find that's very similar in the description box below. But like I said, I really like it and it's something that I can add more in the future if I want to because I can just like stack it on top. And this is not all of the um, water bottles that we have, but we're constantly using the ones that's not here. So I didn't have to uh, put them here. So tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guys bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell I used to drink a lot of tea, but for some reason I stopped. I think I got more into coffee. Let me know in the comments down below if you are team coffee or team tea. I think I'm both. I'm more into coffee, but I also drink tea. I like my tea caffeine free because I drink coffee in the morning. So that's like basically my caffeine. I can't have more caffeine really. So I drink like caffeine free um, tea, like usually in the afternoon or before I go to bed. And if you know any good brand or like good tasting tea, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for like new ones. And I even leave an empty container here because I know I'm going to be like getting more tea. So if you know any like really good brand or like really like flavorful, tasty, delicious tea, let me know in the comments down below. To keep our brown sugar fresh and soft, I put a slice of bread in here and I usually just change that bread every couple months or every time I open it and the bread is hard already. I pick up a few more of this canister. I really like this. It keeps whatever is inside fresh. And I pick up more because I wanted to put the marshmallow in here because these ones get hard really fast. As you see here, it's starting to stick with each other and then after that it will go hard. But for now, it's still really soft. So I just kept them inside. Then I'm also going to put the cocoa powder in here because I don't like this really like bulky container that it came with and then I'm also going to put the powdered sugar in one of these containers to be honest I wanted to transform the cabinet where I'm going to put this into like a baking cabinet but I haven't really decided yet I thought that would be cool but I also keep or store the extra coffee pods in here and some syrup so that keeps me from doing that as well until at least I find a different like area to store those. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a baking cabinet in your kitchen.
My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad. Won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head. You're all. Moving on to the bottom side of the cabinet, mostly everything that's in here are like backup food or backup supplies and some random items that there's really no home and I'm still like kind of holding on up until now. Some of the items I actually did get rid of but I'm just going to clean here and reorganize everything. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still Thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you You so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. I really like these extra large beans from the Home Edit collection. I will try to link this in the description box below for you if you're interested. Yeah, I really like this and I put it on the bottom side because I wanted to put the waters in this so that it's easier to push it in and pull it out when I need to restock with water and most of the time we also have a lot of leftover other beverage like Gatorades so I want to have them in here. I am thinking of getting three more to put on top. I like the basket that I have on top for now but I really like the extra large beans because I feel like it really did maximize the space here so yeah I'm really thinking of getting a few more of those to put on top. If you have deep cabinets like ours and you're having issues trying to find the right baskets or containers to maximize your space, try these extra large beans. This is not sponsored. I just really love this product so I totally recommend it. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. I'm out of time. Don't get around, but there's something about you 
the next two drawers I'm going to be organizing is where we keep our backpacks, me for work, my son for school. So the middle part is for me and my husband. We keep our lunch bags in here and also, like I said, my backpack. My husband don't take like backpack for work, but I do because I like to take my closet at work so I keep my backpack in here and I like them in the kitchen because I always bring food for um, work I always pack my lunch every single morning and I don't want to have to look for my backpack I want them here in the kitchen but I want them hidden so I use these drawers to do that on the bottom side my son's backpack is there and also his lunch bag and some other trash that I'm going to be throwing away and clean up To settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say Let me know in the comments down below what's the weather where you're at. I know it's still spring but here in Las Vegas it's starting to feel like summer already. We're like straight from winter to summer. We don't really have like anything in between to be honest with you. So I'm going to be taking away the hot cocoa bar setup here because we are not drinking any of that anymore. It's like too hot to drink that. Maybe sometimes at night my son asks for that but I'm just going to like have that in the cabinet and just like keep everything in here simple and minimal I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you if only you knew I would die for you one of us one of us gotta say the obvious nobody loves me better nobody loves me better A lot of you guys are asking for cooking videos and recipe and to be honest with you it's not really something that I'm comfortable doing because I do not measure anything you guys I don't measure anything when I'm cooking 
I cook by the heart. I just like try to put whatever um I think would taste good and hope for the best. And also like adjust the flavor when it's needed or whatever tastes good to me and my taste buds. So I don't feel comfortable like giving you a recipe because I feel like that has to be precise. But since you request, I'm going to show you a little bit anyway of how I do my cooking and meal prepping for the week. I'm going to make two pasta recipe and I'm starting with this penne with the meat sauce. This is basically like bake city but I'm not going to bake it. I cook the pasta and I use penne and then I'm going to be cooking the meat sauce. With the meat sauce, I use diced onions, some minced garlic and two pounds of ground beef. I saute it until it's pretty much brown and drain the fat. After the ground beef is cooked, I added the pasta sauce, a can of table cream, a third of the amount of the ricotta cheese that I have here. And then for the spices, I just added a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of sugar to cancel out the sourness of the sauce because it can be a little bit sour. Once everything is mixed, I would let this simmer and then that's done. I would turn off the stove, mix this with the pasta and it's really good you guys. This is just the same way when I make my big city except that I'm baking those. This one I don't. I was going to do that initially but I decided not to. I didn't really have that much time for that so i decided to just mix this and i transfer them in the storage meal prep container and then leave them on the counter or on the island until it's like cold enough to go in the fridge Moving on to the next recipe, yes, it's another pasta. I wasn't really going to make this at this time, but my husband has been requesting this. This is his favorite uh, pasta recipe. This is caprese. With this, I dice some tomatoes and chop some basil. I already cooked the penne, but I need to let that cool down before I mix everything together because the parmesan would melt if I put that in the pasta is still hot. This is supposed to be a salad pasta recipe, so it has to be a little bit cold before I mix everything together. And once the pasta cooled down, I'm going to add some olive oil mixed with a little bit of canola oil because the olive oil itself will solidify and make the pasta stick together once it's already like really cold in the fridge. So I mix a little bit of um, canola oil, some black pepper, a little bit of salt since the parmesan is already salty so i only put like a tiny bit of salt in here and like i said some black pepper and then i mix in the diced tomatoes the chopped parsley the shredded parmesan and it turned out so good you guys let me know if you try it the next recipe a lot of you guys are like really waiting for this and requesting it since i post this on my instagram account which if you haven't followed me i have my link in the description box below check it out and follow me so for this one, I'm going to smash some bananas in the bowl. Usually for one loaf of banana bread, I use about three bananas if it's like really big bananas. But if it's like medium size, then I use about four. I'm going to make two banana loaf here. So as you saw, I already smashed the bananas. After that's done, in another bowl, I'm going to mix one and a half of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to try my best to like mix all of this together. Before I mix all the ingredients together, I like to butter up the pan that I'm going to use for the loaf and also add some flour here so that it doesn't stick once it's already cooked. Can't stop thinking about him And would he understand if I told him how I feel about him In my mixing bowl, I put a stick of butter, room temperature, and a third of a cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to mix this. And then after that, I'm going to add the mashed bananas, two large room temperature eggs, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So like I said, I don't measure anything when I'm cooking except for baking. I do not mess around with baking. So I will try to put the recipe for this banana bread and the other two pasta in the description box below. So check it out if you're interested to try these recipes out. 
So after mixing this, I'm going to add the powder that I mixed earlier, the flour, baking soda, and salt in here and try to mix this again. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Just make sure everything is completely mixed and then transfer this to the low pan. If you like to add any toppings, you can mix that too before you transfer this to the pan. And you can put whatever toppings you like. You can use uh, raisins, walnuts. I would be doing just plain on this one. But for the other banana bread, I'm going to add chocolate chips since my son has been requesting that. So I'm going to add a little bit inside of the banana bread and then some on top. After everything is mixed up, I'm going to transfer this in the low pan and bake this at 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes these banana bread are so good you guys sometimes we add whipped cream cheese on top of it and it's so delicious I hope you find this video motivating and helpful. I hope I inspire you to get up and tackle your own mess at home or your to-do list of house chore. And if I did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel and lets me know you want more videos like this. Comment down below and share this to a friend to inspire them as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate you and I will talk to you all again on my next video. Bye friends!